Published, 2054 Eastern Standard Time, the 2nd of January the 2018, updated, 2059 Eastern Standard Time, the 2nd of January the 2018 She has been known to tease fans by littering her social media pages with a bevy of scantily clad snaps, and after jetting overseas to kickstart the new year with this undrenched break, Caroline Flack put on a very flirty display on Instagram, as she stripped off to enjoy a bubble bath, posing nude in the tub, while strategically covering her modesty with bubbles, the TV presenter. 38, snapped herself indulging in a spot of our bathroom, scroll down for video saucy. Caroline Flack, 38, put on a very flirty display on Instagram, as she stripped off to enjoy a bubble bath while strategically covering her modesty as she kicked back in the tub sizzling in the snap, that left little to the imagination, Caroline is pictured teasing a look at her bronzed pins through the water while maintaining her modesty thanks to the plethora of bubbles surrounding her, she is seen daringly holding her phone up to the ceiling that included a curved mirror that sat directly above the bath. In the sultry post, she was seen reclining, with her head resting on the side of the bath and her brunette locks sprawled out around her head. Caroline fittingly captioned the post, Mirror Mirror, as she shared it with her 1.3 million followers via her Instagram story. Her risque social media upload comes as the former X Factor host is currently holidaying overseas. Prior to spending the festive period in the UK, Caroline had been pining after the sunshine as she penned to her fans, let's get this little thing called Christmas out the way and then we can go on holiday, jetung off. Her risque social media upload comes as the former X Factor host is currently holidaying overseas. She had posted a picture of a palm tree to Instagram on touching down Sunseeker. Prior to spending the festive period in the UK, Caroline had been pining after the sunshine as she penned to her fans, let's get this little thing called. Christmas out the way and then we can go on holiday, do it, her sunshine break comes after ITV2's hit dating show Love Island, that she presents, opened applications for its new series and received 60,000 hopefuls in just 12 hours and Caroline was seen urging her fans to sign up for the series She has since revealed she has touched down in sunnier climes by sharing a snap of a bright blue sky and palm tree, along with a caption, yo, to the photo sharing app, another snap was of an idyllic sunset, that prompted Caroline to comment, stress level. Getting better. Her sunshine break comes after ITV2's hit dating show Love Island, that she fronts, opened applications for its new series and received 60,000 hopefuls in just 12 hours. Scores of romantics have signed up to the ITV2 show in a bid to follow in the footsteps of this year's breakout stars Chris Hughes and Olivia Atwood, Jamie Jewett and Camilla Thurlow and Love Island 2017 winners Kem, Seatony and Amber Davies, who have since split. The next Kemba. A new wave of singletons are battling to find romance on Love Island as 60,000 people have applied for the new series in just 12 hours, pictured above winners Kem Seatony and Amber Davies, Lasting Love. Scores of romantics have signed up to the ITV2 show in a bid to become the next Chris Hughes and Olivia Atwood. Caroline was seen urging her fans to sign up for the hit reality show that has swept the nation in recent years, as she shared an article about Love Island beginning its search for new applicants, hoping to persuade some of her followers to give the show a go. She said, do it, those that have applied have had to get grafting from the get-go to ensure their place on the show, by submitting a homemade video explaining why they would make the ideal villa candidate. Budding contestants, who must be over 18, must also send in two photographs of themselves to show producers, a clear headshot and a length image, a source told The Sun, the show's success last year was unprecedented. Bosses are already working hard to ensure the next series lives up to expectations, Steamy, and the hopefuls, who must be over 18, have had to get grafting from the get-go to ensure their place on the show, by submitting a homemade video explaining why they would make the ideal. Villa mate, pictured finalists Jamie Jewett and Camilla Thurlow, they will do their best to sign up ideal islanders from the tens of thousands of wannabes. During peak viewing times Love Island was watched by 2.9 meters people and got an average of 1.7 meters viewers over its seven-week stint. The show is due to start airing in June 2018, with the application process closing in April. It is slated to air for eight weeks, although the application form asks applicants to be available, exclusively, for Love Island for a total of ten weeks. Last series winners Barbara Kem and dancer Amber enjoyed a roller coaster romance in the villa, located in Mallorca, but emerged triumphant, beating out BFFs Chris and Olivia, Camilla and Jamie and Gabby Allen and Marcel Somerville. 
However, Kem and Amber have since split, with the duo announcing they have gone their separate ways in early December, with Amber later revealing she and Kem haven't spoken since their breakup. Kiss, Chris and Olivia endured a roller coaster romance in the villa, but are still going strong over. Last series winners Barbara Kem and dancer Amber went. They separate ways in December after five months together still going strong. Gabby Allen and Marcel Somerville have gone from strength to strength bomb disposal expert Camilla and male model, deep thinker Jamie, 28 and 27, have endured their share of controversy after they were seen having a huge row in the street but are still blissy happy together. And models Chris and Olivia, 24 and 26, are also still going strong despite two brief breaks from their relationship when Olivia was seen hugging her ex and Chris was spotted putting his arms around a mystery woman on a night out. BFFs Chris and Kem also won scores of new fans with their spin-off show Straight Out to Love Island, which saw them attempt to launch a rap career. Their single Little Bit Leave It reached number 15 in the UK charts last year. Flack is back. Host Caroline is set to return for Love Island's 2018 series, set to air on ITV2 in June later this year following Love Island's third series wrapping last summer. Caroline found herself at the center of speculation she was romantically linked to former contestant Mike Thalassitis. The duo had sparked dating rumors after appearing close in snaps shared on social media, but Caroline finally set the record straight on the pair. Five months after the final took place, and insisted nothing had happened between them. She had appeared on Alan Carr's New Year's Eve special, where she had branded footballer Mike a beautiful man. Quiston claims the duo had been texting each other, and probed by Alan on whether the pair will be having little muggy flax together. Caroline responded, no, but I'll tell you what. He is so fit. He is fit in pictures, but in the flesh and you see him close up. He is a beautiful man. But no, all very professional, setting the record straight, Caroline found herself at the center of speculation she was romantically linked to former contestant Mike Thalassitis and while she admitted she found the hunk fit, she insisted their relationship was strictly professional.